Hi, uh, it's you all again. We are on the, in the Golden Heights, the southern part of the Golden Heights. Uh, and uh, we're in a place called Korazin, which is, uh, used to be a, an ancient Jewish community here in the Roman era. And I think the place is also mentioned somewhere in the New Testament or maybe um, um, in, uh, I know Eusebius mentions the site and we're looking at the synagogue. So this is the entrance to the synagogue. It faces south. Okay, the sun is over there. So that's east. This is facing south, which is also the direction of prayer. The front here is mostly reconstructed. You can see the new stone uh, and inlaid in is uh, the old stones. The synagogue had a beautiful uh, staircase that led up to it. And it had on the top in the entrance, this beautiful arch. And unfortunately it probably collapsed and it was in ruins already at one point. Um, but we still have large parts of the synagogue still around. I've, I've posted pictures of this before, for other parts of the village. The synagogue is really, really interesting. You go through the archway. So the archway, the top part is original. You go in and this is the synagogue. It's actually pretty large for, for the era. And parts of the wall still standing. There's a arch there we'll see in a second. Uh, one of the most important, one of the re real reasons this site is very famous is because of this seat. This is known as the Seat of Moses. Uh, you can also see the seat. Of, uh, this is not the original. Uh, it's called Cathedral de Moshe, this, the throne of Moses. You can see the English explanation. You can pause here if you want to read this. Okay. Uh, a lot of uh, people who come to Israel, especially um, Christians, they, they sit on this throne because it's mentioned in the New Testament. Um, so this is a very, very famous seat. Uh, the synagogue itself is a classic, sec, a classic Roman era synagogue. People would sit around the synagogue or on the floor here. The synagogue here specifically also has a kind of like a, um, a pillar area in the center. You can see the pillars over there. A person will be called out to called up to prayer, so they would come off of the seats over there. Even though they put things on the seats, those are actually what's on the bottom is the seats, what's on the top is the decorations. A person will be called out, and they would come to the center over here and pray for the entire community. It's called a chazan, which is a um, a Babylonian term, which means uh, it means a district, uh, not district, a, a government official, but uh, it was used later on in Judaism to indicate a person who runs the synagogue or prays for the community. This is a really, really weird site. I remember first time I saw this thing, uh, I was very surprised, but that's actually the head of Medusa, which indicates that this was a, a though this was a religious community, they were uh, probably influenced by Roman architecture and Roman art, which means they were also Hellenized in some way or another, even though the Hellenistic era was over. People would sit here. And we have here what they assume was a the arch, the top part of the uh, where the the Torah Ark was. Uh, they have the classic seashell style here. And we've seen other synagogues where it's very obvious that this was it, but it's not very clear to me if this is the original site of what this was, or where it was. It means that if it, this was where it sat, then people would pray with their backs to the Torah scroll, which is different than what we do today. Usually the Torah scroll is in direction of prayer. And which means that you would expect it to be over there, but it's not. So if you look at the Mishnah, the Mishnah describes that they would have the Torah scroll kept in a separate room sometimes. And you would have uh, sometimes uh, uh, a niche for it. So it's very interesting. If someone would pray pray here, they would be facing this direction. Okay. Okay. So last few. Take a take a spin around. Synagogue of Korazin, an ancient Jewish synagogue with some really really unusual motifs.